Westchester County police went back to the classrooms today for an intensive hands-on training on stolen cars, specifically VIN number tampering. A vehicle's VIN number is its unique identifier. You can place it on any car, but when you run the number, it'll always show the original car it was registered to. Thieves have been removing VIN numbers and placing them on stolen cars, making them hard to find. Sometimes they sell these stolen vehicles to unknowing participants. We've gotten a lot of consumer complaints where people have purchased vehicles, scammed uh, Craigslist, other ads where They'll respond, it sounds too good to be true, and it probably was, so they wind up buying a car that's stolen or had the serial number changed. Several of the vehicles here today were purchased by unknowing consumers, and the vehicles wound up being stolen. Many of the vehicles that the officers did their hands-on learning were, in fact, stolen. For example, this Ford Explorer Sport purchased on an ad. The vendor was asking $25,000 for the car worth about 40 grand. When they went to register the vehicle, investigators realized that all the original serial numbers had been replaced and the VIN number was that of a crashed Ford Explorer. The county has also bought new radar technology that can read up to 1,500 cars a minute at speeds of up to 200 miles an hour. I went on a tour with the officers and they showed me just how the technology works. You can see the technology scanning each car and then moving on to the next as we drive, all automatically. While car theft is taught at the police academy, this event offers a more rigorous training, one that seems to have some pretty good results. I've learned a lot today, however, most of it that is discussed uh, cannot be um, disclosed to the public, but the training that is provided has combated auto theft to a point where it's gone down 50% in the past 10 years. If you're concerned about your car, you can go to the DMV website and look up your PIN number directly. In Valhalla, Emily Young, Fios, One News.